guys, welcome back. We're gonna head up to the land this weekend, but uh, one of the things that I've wanted to, to do for a while is to can up a batch of chili to bring with. Uh, nothing is better than a hot batch of chili on a cold night. And I'm expecting uh, temperatures in the low 40s with wind and, and, a lot, and probably some rain. So I've got my jars resting in some super hot water. We don't have to sterilize them because they will get sterilized in the process. And they are new jars as well, but I do have my lids uh, warming up in some hot water as well. And I've got my uh, kettle warming up and we're gonna get uh, set to put some chili in some jars. Put my chili into my hot jars. Leave about maybe a half inch of headspace. And I did get some stuff on the edges here, so you have to make sure to wipe those down really well. And I'll go ahead and put my, my lids down, finger tight. And put them in the canner. Okay, so I've got my jars in the canner. Okay, now I need to let the uh, canner come up to temperature and have steam exhaust for a solid 10 minutes. And I'll start my timer once it's uh, exhausting at a very steady rate. As you can see, my venting is uh, very consistent and strong. So I've gone on ahead and started my timer for 10 minutes. on my list to do to prepare to go to the land was to go out and pick some apples. So I got a tree not just down the road from my house that has just little teeny ones that nobody wants because they're so small. So I went and picked a few for the deer, give them some treats. Maybe the bears will eat them too. We're headed up to camp. Old River Dog and I are making our way over. Had a little snow last night. It's supposed to be in the low 40s, low 30s. So it's gonna be kind of the first time I've been up here this year where it's been cool. Luckily I brought my heavy sleeping bag. Well, I had brought the rice that Scott and I harvested up to uh, trade for finished rice and it looks like they're maybe done for the season already so maybe I will just have to process it by myself I guess I don't see anybody around none of the equipment's running it's pretty quiet so hmm it's off to go with the plan B well that was a bust I guess I should have called ahead to make sure the processing center was open still. Well, I could try this place for... Maybe I can sell my rice there. Well, it's October 4th. <clears throat> One of my chores up here was to mow the tr game trails. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that today. And, unfortunately... I have this little problem in the driveway. So I'm going to have to get the chainsaw out and deal with that before I can even get back to camp. If I wouldn't have done this driveway with the snow and the rain, I would have been stuck just getting back here. Money well spent. I got some trees down. I heard they had some power outages, but... Huh. Ran 
Bush is down, trees down, jeez Louise. Well, I'm going to have to move that branch out of the way. As you can see, the van is packed plum full just to get to my clothes bag to get my coat. I got to take some stuff out, so here we go. So it's October and it's already snow on the ground. It won't last though. It'll be gone by tomorrow I'm sure, but it's been rainy all day. It's been a little rough. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get some work done on the outhouse. So, good night. Well, it's time for bedtime and River's busy chewing on a bone. Getting a little cool in here. It's about eh, 58, so a little cool, but not too bad. Glad to have my river dog up here with me.